Okay, so welcome back to my videos. Today we're going to be trying something different. Thing. I usually do an intro and an outro. But I think for the next couple of time frames at least. So you're not going to be able to see my face from... And that's just to make it easier for me to edit these videos. Not because I don't want to show my face. So, yeah. You can still find my face in other videos and on my my icon thing that you hit to get to this video and stuff like that. So, yeah. Let's get into it. So, this is more going to be me kind of breaking down. I did realize that I did not use a... My shade is usually better than this because I usually use a board on me, but I forgot to use it for the last minute. I was like, oh. Realized that problem. And I was like, oh. Too late now. But yeah, I usually use something underneath it because this one here makes like, it makes indents because it's supposed to help you write better, but it's not good for other things. So I'm just doing a couple things. You kind of make a shape like it's petals connecting. And then just drawing lines around that. I'm going for a very dark color for this here instead of a very bright. I love drawing just flowers and stuff. It looks really good. You just kind of want to keep drawing it like symmetrical, but you can draw one. I draw. I always don't do symmetrical. I like the art of not being symmetrical. So you can do one long and one cool and one short. Also, in this type of art, if you mess up on it, because I'm not using a true pencil, then you kind of just mess up on it. It's not really any, like, I call it going back. You know what? With this type of pencil I'm doing, just a black pencil. Because I'm doing such a thick color, I'm doing such a heavy color over it. So you kind of just do it once, and then you're done. So you use a true pencil with a eraser and the typical number two pencil. Well, maybe not typical, but that type of pencil. And you just use it, and you just, so you can erase it, you can do, you're not doing so heavy lines. I'm doing a very dark flower, so I'm doing some <coughs> heavier lines on it and stuff. And they look good. Making sure it's really nice and dark. I usually never do this dark. Of like, I do usually just dark. I usually do a lighter color. But I'm using this type of pencil. I usually do everything in just that one pencil. So I would do my, my gray pencil first. But... Today, I was like, okay, I'm going to just use a black pencil. And I want to see, can you do it with a black pencil? You probably can. But I like doing lighter colors first, and then darker colors over top of it. Or do a dark color and then blend it with a lighter color. And this is a pencil I probably should start out with, so I can overlap it. And now back to my dark pencil to go over it. I think it's going to be pretty, pretty cool. It's looking pretty good. So that's kind of like the place where the little like hell things will go. For this video, all you need is a racer. Um, I do recommend going to you can get these from Dollar Tree, these pencils, just basic pencils. But for like a true beginner, or well, my this is probably my least favorite one I done, but yeah. and stuff you can get just basic pencils or whatever. I think it's turning out really good. Really nice and clean. Not got clean, but like, it looks good. Shading all that. Shading that in. These videos will be shorter now, but I think it'll be less commentary and more just drawing. It'll be a lot easier. Cause I'm not, I didn't post any videos for like a whole week. I said every day. And I want to get back on track with that. So I'm doing it. Shading, I'm just doing the drawing part and not intros, outros, and then for thumbnails, um, the thumbnail will probably still be with my face, or it might be just a picture of the flower that I drew, it may be just that, I think it's gonna be just a flower that I drew, still my face, not to make it easier, it's so I don't have to change my my tripod to the bigger side, and always having the smaller side. One day, if I have a team with them, or like professional people do it more, like an editor, I would do it, but right now, I think it's easier to just do a, this type of thing. I think it's turning out really good. It's a flower. 
I love doing flowers like this. It's one of my favorites. Shading all the little lines. The little lines. I could have done it. Like the so I really, I've realized my mistake some and something how great it looks is because I didn't have a board underneath it. Because it's supposed to make your handwriting look smoother or help you with handwriting, but also give that nice feel. I personally never use that for that reason. I use it for just a mat to draw now. I right, over top of it. Yeah. Not like small as I did, but yeah. It's looking pretty good already. And stuff. I'm trying to get a darker layer on top of this. And just trying to shade. I'm trying to do a shade and like shadow over it. Look at our site shadow. Stuff. If I do do more videos like this, I think it'll be less plants in the future. Or oh, more plants and flowers, but just better looking. Cause I can I can focus on the plants. I foc I was focusing too much on the vi the the video and then the video, then focus on the plant part of it, and that's why I'm not doing the intro the outro. So the intro is the outro and stuff. Yeah, I think it will. I think it come. Out, I think this will come out really good. What I'm trying to do and the flower too and stuff. Oh, uh, now I'm trying to shade just around. I'm trying to make it not look so gritty in the bottom. I'm at, I'm at the wood. Not blending it, I guess. Alright, that's it for the video today. Bye-bye.